Hey guys, a very special hybrid multi-POV live free cam commentary. I know that sounds weird, so hear me out. This is a commentary where we were doing it live with two separate free cams. I took both the free cam footages and put them together, and then I listened to me and Brett give commentary and then edited the video so it either went to my perspective or his. Both running free cam, no single person perspectives, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is the BF3 Platoon Wars 12v12 final match. Synthic versus Shot Docs. Shot Docs actually went to the lower bracket and they're fighting their way back. They had already won one map. This is the second map. Winner takes all. And that's the end of it. The match starts going to be a bit delayed, as is the ending of the matches. will be cut short. That's just the nature of free cam. Hope you guys enjoy. Pretty yeah. good pilots. Whoa, I just uh, went to, to the, the light helo, and it was already destroyed by Leader Havoc. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, remember, guys, Sea Flag on this map contains a dropship LAV. So right now, we do have the dropship LAV coming in for Team Shot Docks. It should be dropping here pretty dang soon. It is already spawned and in, in the air. Just waiting for them to, uh, to actually jump in it. Here so, comes a TV yeah. missile at, against the other light helo. He's going to get it. Oh, he misses. So how, how much do you think... How, how much do you think that that's actually going to affect the match right here, Dasker? The, the, the helo fight? No, the, uh, the extra LAV. Do you think that will be the turning, turning point in this match? Oh, I don't know. I want to say that it very well could be if they have enough helo drivers. This, these, I'll tell you though, I'm, I'm not paying attention to the, uh, I'm not paying attention to the, the battle because I am so enamored by this TV versus TV battle that's going on. I'm going back and forth. I know some of you guys don't like this, but I love watching this stuff. <laughs> oh well, they'll live. So right now we do have a, uh, what we did have a wow. over here on E, that was a uh, water tower, and uh, there's uh, some long range fighting going on over here at E, and I, said, I gotta say, Team Sync took doing a pretty good job using the new Vodnik with the rockets on it, keeping the LAV at bay, uh, making sure that it cannot really be that aggressive, and right now it looks like Shot Dogs took an early lead, but they are three capped at the moment. So what are you seeing over there on your end, Astro? I am I am watching uh, on the, the middle point on Charlie Point. Wessie goes down to two girls, uh, one uh, <laughs> clune. Want to make sure that I didn't say something inappropriate. And uh, and Charlie Point is being uh, taken by Russia, which is uh, on the synthic side. And I'm gonna go back. It looks as if oh my goodness, I think that that the that Synthix tanks actually took out the, uh, or, or Synthix, uh, helicopter took out, uh, the Shot Docs helicopter. He is now unopposed and just firing a mad amount of, and look how high he is. Look how high that helicopter is relative to everything else. But at the same time, yeah, it looks as if... getting that height advantage is it, going to play, I think, a key role in the helicopter fights because there are more than just one helicopter. Andy, though, is getting just bombarded over here um, on Charlie? Sea Flag. Now, Sea Flag is the one that gives the extra LAV, so this is going to be a, a hot spot. It's also the center of the map. It is. And Andy right now is just He's so low, and it's so two bad. versus one. It's two versus one, and he goes down. But they end up taking so Charlie regardless. They have, I mean, Synthic has four or five dudes on the uh, Charlie Point. Taking, or uh, shooting that IFV, but the IFV is still up, getting it repaired. And here comes a yeah, light helo as well. They, you know, they're barely holding on to this. It, right now it's 171 to 146, and so even though that Simtic's actually kind of winning the kill battle here, not enough. Three, three shot docks guys on the point for, uh, on, on Charlie, holding it down. One IFV still up. Run away from it. Run away, maybe well, pushing onto their, onto the, one of the gimmies. Yeah, I think that was very smart by this Simtech player to not engage right there. They had about six to seven infantry players on that middle flag, so they said, "Okay, 
you want that middle flag that bad, we'll just go and back cap you, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're uh, over here at B flag. They are going to be capping it with basically no uh, no resistance at all. And the, all the while, you know, they're, they're just going to be running circles right now, I think, around them, um, while Shot Docs is trying to keep up, uh, basically coming back around and capping these flags back. Yes, it's 163 to 136. And here's the thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to see on this map. Uh-oh, here's a cool IFV fight on, on U.S. Main. John Stewart Mill versus, um, maybe it's Andy? Oh, the double. Two two repair yeah, guys, three Andy. repair guys. Takes it out. Which Andy takes it. in for the repair tool? That was, that was a really, that, that was really well played, though. It was a four, four squad push. Three guys repairing Andy. Yeah, he's actually in a, quite a bit of trouble because they just lost the C point. Yes. Uh, so they are going to be losing that extra LAV on the map. Yeah. And, and they lost middle middle control. They yeah, they are actually they're, right now on the center flag. They are four capped right now. Four capped. Uh, they they are getting back their other gimme on Bravo, but the, the, right now they're just trying to divert the the bleed just a little bit. Here comes the here, here comes this little uh, I, this AA tank or AA uh, Vodnik. Yeah, and I think right Andy's now, being you know, aggressive with doing it. A really good job of keeping them on their toes. Andy is going to be coming here. That's an easy fight to win. And look who's uh, back up. Uh, that Leader is Havoc is back up. Is he going to start to dominate the air here? I sure hope so. Oh, Andy, though, he's about trapped. There is an LEV coming in back by. Oh, no, he's back. He's getting back raged. Repair yeah, him, he repair him. He said two repair guys. Oh, two so repair close. guys. Oh, shit. Oh, oh did God, you see the, the, the helicopter the hitting that IFE? But watch out, there's another there's another AT guy right next to Andy. He's gonna go for the kill of the repair guys. He kills the one rep. And here comes here comes repair tool. Here comes repair tool. Andy's Thank gonna go tool. down. He goes down. Gets repair tool by Bonsai B. No, he bailed. One he bailed? bailed. Johnny got out. He is going to be alive still. He gets one kill. He's gonna be on the backside of this flag, keeping this fight alive. Another spawns on him. So they're doing a great job of staying around right now on this map or on this flag. And, uh, yeah, they're in a lot of trouble right now. Infantry going down everywhere uh, on E-Flag for Simtech. But another a APC coming in, uh, trying to get the... Uh, oh, they're the hiding. Cleanup. They're hiding. And I think Havoc just went down from the Little Bird, trying to get a little greedy right there. I, I don't think that was a good trade at all. No, and during this dur during the fight on Delta the or Echo, the light helo gets close. He's trying to go for some shots. The the shot dice guys are throwing a smaws at it. Kills the light helo with nice. a small. <laughs> nice job. And here comes the attack the, the the big attack helo. Oh, you're not, you killed my little brother. And here comes the IFE. They uh, shot dice did a great job of capping this, but boy, they are gonna lose tickets for this. Yeah, absolutely, and I think right now Semtech is making the mistake of trying to fight this fight uh, right here at this flag. The majority of the uh, Shot Docs team was here. They would have been better off to leave this flag alone, make a stand over there at, uh, at D flag, and try and take something else. Uh, Synthic does push onto the uh, the Alpha Point with an AA Vodnik that's taken down by three uh, uh, engineers who spawn on Alpha score uh, uh, right now. Shot Docs has Alpha Bravo Charlie losing Charlie score right now 118 to 78. Mm -hmm. It's anyone's game. Yeah, and right now you know D is flashing for Simtech, so they're being constantly put on the back foot. Not quite able to get the C burn over here in the middle. Uh, they weren't. I don't know why they didn't spawn bomb on that guy. Uh, three players, four shot docs are going to be spawning and taking that back out. Here comes the uh, the LAV that is going to be Andy to secure this. Now A is flashing over here. And, so and Bravo is being Simtech, taken too. I think Simtech is going to be doing that tactic like I was talking about. Uh, not fighting directly, but just taking these back flags and trying to just keep at least three flags or more to win that bleed. Yes, uh, the the uh, the Simtic IFV pushed onto Bravo, but it is being responded to by uh, U.S. Uh, IFV on a Bravo as well. It's almost like that that IFV at Simtic was just trying to bait them out, just trying to say, "Hey, get out of Charlie. We're going to take back Charlie," and they're pushing back onto Charlie uh, Simtic with their uh, RU IFV. But watch out for those landmines. The landmines are all over Charlie. Yeah, you know, that's something that was I was expecting to see in the beginning of the game that we did not see was a lot of landmines coming into play. You know, uh, I, I don't know if they just uh, 
aren't comfortable with the idea of putting down a mass amount of landmines uh, or what, but we do have an IV over here on C. He is going to be getting it grayed out and start capping it right now. And again, this is not looking good for uh, Shot Docs, although they are in the lead by about 50 tickets. So they are sitting on a fairly good, uh, you know, cushion right now. They, they can lose a couple of tickets. Uh, it would not be too bad. What's really incredible here is that Shot Docs uh, just got Alpha back. They got Delta back. They are fighting over uh, over the, uh, the, what's that? This is a Bravo point. Uh, and and they're they may lose it. We have one more Bravo fight, infantry for symmetry, but no, uh, they go down. Simpic takes Bravo back. Uh, yep. But this is such a merry-go-round of, 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 of flag caps. This is incredible. Yeah, this is. The, uh, you know, and I think right now, Shot Docs is making the the. They're not. They're not really keeping uh, in teams together. They're not doing the buddy system, if you will. No. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're just, going in they're one at a time. They're, they're jumping from one point to the next as fast as they can. It's working. It's 102 to 60. They are up by 40 tickets. It, it, it's just this constant spam. The the, the 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 jeeps and the helicopters allow them to do a lot of. Uh, uh, of, of, of very crazy maneuvers. Watching Light Helo right now. Dr. Worlds is takes him out. Takes out the Light Helo. Great shot with the SMA. They end up taking it back. They have Alpha. They have Bravo. They are contesting Echo. They are contesting Charlie. This strategy, while a bit chaotic, just may work. Just yeah, may and right work. now we do have a nice little one on one fight and then a little bird coming in over here on, it looks like D. Uh, looks like uh, John Stewart Mill is going to be able to clean that up. Although the attack helo is going to be coming in here, trying to get him before he can get everybody res. He does res two people, so they are going to oh, be yes. able to uh, cap this. It looks like, unless this helicopter can uh, lock it down, which that will be a huge win for Shot Docs, because that means they will almost be in a five cap situation. And here and comes the IFV from the skies, just in the nick of time to take hold Charlie. They take it back. Score right now, 95 to 33. This, this constant maneuvering is, I think, what, what's doing for it because the, uh, the if you look at the score right now, the shot to us guys, they're not they're not necessarily winning the kill battles necessarily. Mm -hmm. Well, the name of the game on these maps, these big maps, is not KD. Oh, this light uh, helo on Charlie, super low. Here come more shots. Oh, barely misses with the TV. Oh, he got hit. He hits the tree. He's so low. Is he gonna go down? He goes down. He LAV go takes down, him out. Decker. Time. That LAV, though, that was shooting him, he is in a world of trouble right now. He does have two reps on him. One does go down, but both of the helicopters are going to be up on him. And uh, if you do, uh, if you did uh, look at that helicopter that just blew up, that was the U.S. Yes, Little Bird. Yes, that was the U.S. So Little Bird. That, yeah, that means that Simtek had the Little Bird uh, for a while, and unfortunately, they weren't able to oh, capitalize on it. That light helo is, is, is running away like crazy. Oh, my goodness. Watching this light helo. We're about to get uh, two tickets left, though. Guys, that's the end of the round. Oh, my goodness. Guys, yeah, what so a... GG a, to both teams. 86 to 1. And that's the end of round one. Let's go into round two, switching sides. Let's see if Simpa can take it back. From the Russian side, I'm quite getting it, but we are going to see a nice battle over here uh, from the two LAVs. I'm not really sure. Uh, Shot Docs is pulling out two reps, uh, but it is disabled. Both LEVs are disabled right now. Little Bird, though, is going to be coming into uh, play right here. He's going to be getting a couple of shots off of the Simtech. Ooh. No! Shot Docs LEV is going to go down. I believe that was from a TV. That was a TV. So nice job from the helicopter crew from Simtech being able to, to clean up that fight. And they will be able to take C and the extra LEV. Look at this. This, this is this light helo on Charlie. He is pushing in and takes out. The, uh, the IFB on Charlie and Bales a dude. They are pushing back on Charlie, but, the, but something has two guys inside the little command center. Are they? Yeah, they wasn't going to happen. Wesley was out in the oak, did get taken down, so it is now going to be a new uh, flag advantage for Simtech. Uh, although right now, the the little bird proving to be very annoying, or rather the uh, uh, for the Russian side to be annoying on C flag. We do have a couple of motorcycles though. I don't know what they are doing. It looks like they are flying back around to the gimme. I think he's actually going to go back here and get a vehicle. Yes, so the, the LAV for the Russian team is going to be coming out. That is Shot Docs. And uh, they are going to make up onto C. Synthic has now won the air battle. They took out the, the attack helo for the
the uh, four against shot docks. And here comes the big push. Right now, uh, shot docks only has Delta and Echo. They are, but they have a lot of guys on Charlie trying to get it back. Oh my God, we do have a traffic jam over here. Two LEDs trying to push in for Semtec on C flag. They weren't able to go both at the same time. <laughs> Which one has the right of way? Too much, <laughs> too much for the uh, for shot docks. They weren't able to capitalize on having that uh, LEV there for a slight uh, second ahead of him. Oh, yeah. There's only one guy left for shot docks. He's over here behind him. He's getting hit from the little bird. He's getting hit from the LEV and not able to take it. That was Shane. Uh, he does get taken out. So right now, uh, oh, back half though. This is something we missed. A and B flag are both being capped out for shot docks. This is what I was talking about, guys. This is what I was talking about. Got to get around behind them. Back cap the flags while they are busy on the front flags. And they have no chance uh, to basically be everywhere at once. So Shot Doc's doing a great job basically repeating what they did in the last game. Yes, moving their uh, infantry guys away from where the enemy is and just trying to get in other areas very quickly. Only got one guy on Bravo. He's just hiding behind the lumber. Yeah, actually, we have two players over here on B. That's why it's going to be capped out so fast right now. They do get the gray on it. Uh, and they may be doing a complete uh, base switch right now. Two shot docks, uh, you know, are going to have the two U.S. gimme flags. And uh, it looks like C is going to be taken by shot docks right now. That is the shot docks IFV. With no, and it's not even being contested except for from a helicopter. So, yeah, uh, you know, Semtech on the back foot not able to come back. I don't know why their LAVs are not moving around the map more. I don't know uh, either. Have a slight long-range battle here, but yeah, Shot the, Docs IFV is getting pinched. Yeah, the I and also the IFV on Charlie gets taken out. There's one uh, synthetic IFV on Charlie. There are two infantry, two engineers on Charlie as well. Deku is one of them. He goes down. There's one guy left. He's hiding somewhere inside the building. Yeah, I, and you know it would be smart if he waits for a couple of guys to spawn on him, which I think he is going to do. Come out. Uh, get about three rockets into the LEV all at once. Try and get it dis disabled. And, He's just uh, waiting. The back armor is off. He's just waiting. And that waiting. would be the best thing to do. Um, you know, that LEV, though, doing a great job of staying alive from all of these rockets. He's getting hit from three different angles now. And I, where is the other? There it is. The other LEV Ooh. is coming in the play right now. Oh, my God. What well, an explosion, but he nice lives. explosion there. Two LEVs for the Semtech team are going to be on C. And they will be able to get this thing finally burned down. Yes. And there's the massive spawn. But I, I they're putting too many people they have a, on one flag. They have at the a same lot time. of they have a lot of guys on Charlie. Score right now is 164 to 148. And Shot Doc still has guys sort of just pestering Charlie. Just pestering. Yeah, absolutely. We have one that's over here by the bridge. He's just you're basically head glitching right now. Oh well, yeah. He was getting from the helicopter. It looks like he comes underneath the bridge. No. Gets taken out. I think he was a little bit aggressive there. Should have just probably hidden and waited for some spawns to come out. Where? What is the helicopter crew for the the uh, uh, shot docks team? Where are they at? Well, they they have been down for such a long time. They are back on uh, up right now. They the, the the two attack heroes are really just kind of fighting each other from long distance, real long distance shots. Here comes a synthic shot uh, against shot docks. Will he have enough range? I don't think so. Oh, and look at that dodge. Nice dodge. Yeah, and you know, right now, Simtech again, they're just, they just can't put all these players onto the same flag. And right now, they're not even fighting on a flag. We got an LEV crew over here who is just sitting there. I don't know if he was, uh, you know, disabled or what, but he needs to get on a flag or at least make a push for one. You know, uh, right now, they just don't have the flags. It is 150 to 138, guys, in the favor of Simtech, but the flag advantage is a four flag to one flag advantage in the shot docks uh, uh, in there. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of advantages there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, will, I, I was watching the air battle. In that air battle, the the uh, shot docks attack helo went down, and was and, and, but was able to get the synthetic attack helo on fire. They switch positions. They get out the uh, the extinguishers, but a, a stray igla from Leader Havoc takes out the. Synthic attack helo. Yeah, right now we do have a push from Shot Docs in their LAV. It's going to be Andy. He's getting a little too aggressive. Oh, it's 2v1. I don't know how. And I, this is not going to happen. Yeah, he's going to be getting hit in the he's rear. He's going to get back rage uh, too. He goes down. down. Although the, the LAV for the uh, Simtech side is going to be uh, getting, looks he's, like. He's taking disabled. a lot of hits. 
A lot of hits. And he's getting hit from will, an infantry guy. Will they get a last hit on here? Uh, not enough. Look at all those repairs. Look at all those repairs. Yeah, I gotta say, he was doing a good job on the repairs. Oh, he's getting a repair a tool? Repair tool coming in. He's starting to repair tool. One player gets out to try and clean him no. up. No. get him. Yes, he does get them. Oh, it took him Although out. Although the LAV does go down, so that is going to help Shot Docs out a lot, uh, not having that extra LAV on the field. They need to cap C back right now so that they can get that uh, LAV for their own team. Although there is no presence on, their, on, on that flag right now. It does look like D, though, is going to be getting grayed out. Where is D? D is over here. Yeah, so we do have uh, a nice little fight that happened over here at D. Sorry, I missed it, guys. There's just one infantry left for Simtek. He does get taken out. So yeah, 134 to 104. I think Simtek was able to bounce it out a little bit. They did get back up on their feet, but you know, Shot Dogs did win the, uh, the the fight by 86 tickets last game. So I believe for them to get the next uh, the next round choice or the next side choice, they have to win this by it's 86 tickets or more. Nice IFE fight happening over here on C again. Just LAVs going back and forth. You know, Shot Docs right now up their IV, they're being way aggressive with not enough reps. They are being they very need to aggressive have with it. More people with that IV when they push it up. He doesn't have any cover. He's right out in the open. Here comes a big push. Oh. He, he is going to get taken down. Although the reps, though, do wow, a great job in the back keeping him alive. One does go down. Let's see if the other one can stay up. That's going to be Walrus. I'm actually pretty impressed Andy is able to survive that long because there were it was the, the odds were against him uh, tremendously, tremendously. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, uh, Shot Docs has De Delta and Echo. They have both their helicopters up though. Which yeah, is so you know maybe maybe they can make something come back with the, with the helicopters. You know if they can get. A, a, a ground or an air presence. Their ground guys will be able to do something finally, though we do have an LAV for, uh, uh, who is this? This is Dark Tan. He is going to be over here on D, it looks like, trying to get the gray out. He does have a squad of two guys in his LAV. Those are just reppers. Uh, so he is going to be able to stay alive for quite some time if anybody does spawn over there and they do get the gray out. A, a, an epic an epic, epic TV guide missile fight between each other. They are missing each other just barely back and forth. Uh, I know I'm not focusing that much on the actual battle. I should go back to it, and I, as I should, because Shot Docs only has one point right now. They only have Bravo. And That's right, and, and they're, they're in danger of losing it right now. LAV is pushing in on it. It did get disabled. There are three infantry, four. Oh, right now the infantry coming around. Uh, shot dogs. Here, here comes the repair tool. Bam. So there is the repair tool. Nice job by John. He is going to be able to kill that LAV. The great job. Uh, C flag did get taken for a little bit for shot docs. It is going to be grayed out again. And here comes the gray out. They got one they guy left able on it. to get that spawn LAV. Oh, they have two still on still on Charlie. Two still on Charlie for shot docks. And but they, they are super low. They try to get shots, they miss. They're just fighting on the periphery here. Yeah, they're not able to get any kind of a presence on the flag. Uh, you know, they're they're falling into the same trap I think that Sentek fell into in the first round. They need to start taking these flank flags. They need to start his 121 the 58 in favor of Simtech doing a great job uh, with these LAVs and keeping them alive right now. I mean, the two reps now. Oh, it does get taken out. So Tan doing a great job on Shot Dog's side, getting a triple kill with the LAV. Going to be shutting down that Seaburn. They're going to be taking Look at it that. back. Right they now. are grabbing that back very quickly. Very That's quickly. right. And right now, but they don't have any flags. No. So they aren't even on the board. This is going to be very, very critical for them. They do get the flag cap. Uh, uh, let's see what happens over here. Yes, we do have Andy over here on E flag. He is going to be taking it back. I'm not seeing any infantry. So it looks like that will be a free cap for him. And uh, it is going to be three flags to two in Simtek's favor right now. They do get C. And, and you know what, Dastro? They get the dropship. They do. They, they get the dropship. Do you think that will be the turnaround point in this match? I, I don't know. They're, they've been losing the air so much. We have Wheezy pushing on to Delta as well. They're just hiding because they're trying to make sure they don't get killed by the enemy attack helos and stuff. Uh, they're, they're taking back... Uh, Delta, I think they're going to be able to get it. At the same time, they're losing Charlie, and they're pushing on Echo. 
Yeah, and you know, right now they're losing C again. Mm -hmm. They're not able to hold on to any flags. I'm not. They're not putting. They're not even putting down. Uh, you know, uh, mines. No. Where are the mines? You Where know, are the before, mines? Before we had so many mines going down for these guys, especially on C flag, and there's nothing going down right now. Nothing at all. Uh, we do have the helicopter though. Uh, for the shot dog screw is going to be getting on nice shots disabling this LED from Simtech and he is going to be pushed back. Oh, it's back. so low. He is low. So low right now. LED coming up for shot dogs. On the other side of the bridge does get taken out. So that is going to be uh, basically no cap for Simtech on C flag. Yes. Right now. Shot dogs only has Delta and maybe getting back Charlie, but it's 109 to 20. 109 to 20. They yeah, have to I cap something fast. They, they have to get a four cap, I think, to come back in this game and get them below the 86 ticket range. It is not going to happen, though. 17 to 107. Tickets are going down so fast. And, yeah, it is just – it's not going to happen, Dash Grove. They are pushing onto Echo uh, very hard right now. They have four infantry pushed onto Echo. Here comes the fight. If they can gray it out right now, they may be on to something. They may be able to turn this around. They're, they're putting all their guys on it. There, there, are, there are five shot dots guys on Echo, and did they get the gray? They're still fighting it out. There it goes. There it goes. They do get the gray, but they're getting shot from the helicopter right now, and it's just free shots for that for the helicopter. It is. And they're, look at this. And they're losing they're Delta. Almost, there are no meds. One, I see one Ooh. med. One med, and that is it. It's 97 to 7. It is going to be so close right now. D does gray it out, though. It is. Not and able to keep that flag, uh, and it looks like Semtec just put all of their players Looks like two squads at least over here on this D flag. They are going to be getting the burn, and it does look like it is going and to here, go down. And that's 96 the burn. to 6 tickets. Close match. I got to say, very wow. close match on both sides. Incredible. And that's the end of the round, guys. Simpic over Shot Docs by 10 tickets. Only 10 tickets. A really close match. Uh, I was really amazed by how close it was. Uh, really good fighting by both teams. Congratulations to Team Synthic on the hard-fought victory, the champions of BF3 Platoon Wars 12v12. And on a personal note, I look forward to more 12v12 matches in both BF3 and in BF4 in the future. I think they are a lot of fun. We really get to see all the elements that is Battlefield. I'll see you guys later. Well, they, you know, they're barely holding on to this. It, right now it's 171 to 146. And so even though that Synthic's actually kind of winning the kill battle here, not enough. Three three shot dogs guys on the point for uh, on on Charlie holding it down. One IFV still up. Run away from it. Run away. Maybe well, pushing onto their onto the, one of the gimmies. Yeah, I think that was very smart by the Simtech player to not engage right there. They had about six to seven infantry players on that middle flag. So they said, okay. You want that middle flag that bad, we'll just go and back cap you. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're uh, over here at B flag. They are going to be capping it with basically no uh, no resistance at all. And the, all the while, you know, they're, they're just going to be running circles right now, I think, around them. Um, while Shot Docs is having to keep up, uh, basically coming back around and capping these flags back. Yes, it's 163 to 136. And here's the thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to see on this map. Uh oh, here's a cool IFV fight on, on US Main. Hey guys, a very special hybrid multi POV live free cam commentary. I know that sounds weird, so hear me out. This is a commentary where we were doing it live with two separate free cams. I took both the free cam footages and put them together, and then I listened to me and Brett give commentary and then edited the video so it either went to my perspective or his. Both running free cam, no single person perspectives, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is the BF3 Platoon Wars 12v12 final match. Synthic versus Shot Docs. Shot Docs actually went to the lower bracket and they're fighting their way back. They had already won one map. This is the second map. Winner takes all. And that's the end of it. The match starts going to be a bit delayed, as is the ending of the matches. will be cut short. That's just the nature of free cam. Hope you guys enjoy. Pretty yeah. good, pilots. Whoa, I just uh, went to, to the, the light helo, and it was already destroyed by Leader Havoc. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, remember, guys, Sea Flag on this map contains a dropship LAV. So right now, we do have the dropship LAV coming in for Team Shot Docks. It should be dropping here pretty dang soon. It is already spawned and in, in the air. Just waiting for them to, uh, to actually jump in it.
Here so, comes a TV uh, missile at against the other light helo. He's gonna get it. Oh, he misses. So, how, how much do you think? How, how much do you think that that's actually gonna affect Mash right here, Dasgro? The 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 helo fight? No, the uh, the extra LAV. Do you think that will be the turning turning point in this match? Oh, I don't know. I want to say that it very well could be if they have enough helo drivers. This these I'll tell you though. I'm I'm not paying attention to the. Uh, I'm not paying attention to the, the battle because I am so enamored by this TV versus TV battle that's going on. I'm going back and forth. I know some of you guys don't like this, but I love watching this stuff. <laughs> oh, well, they'll live. So right now we do have a, uh, what we did have a wow. here on E. That was a uh, water tower. And uh, there's some long-range fighting going on over here at E. And I said I gotta say, Team Sync doing a pretty good job using the new Vodnik with the rockets on it, keeping the LAV at bay, uh, making sure that it cannot really be that aggressive. And right now, it looks like Shot Dogs took an early lead, but they are three capped at the moment. So what are you seeing over there on your end, Astro? I am I am watching uh, on the, the middle point, on Charlie Point. Wessie goes down to two girls, uh, one uh, <laughs> clune. I want to make sure that I didn't say something inappropriate. And, uh, and Charlie Point is being uh, taken by Russia, which is uh, on the Synthic side. And I'm going to go back. It looks as if, oh my goodness, I think that, that the... That Synthix tanks actually took out the, uh, or no, Synthix uh, helicopter took out uh, the Shot Dogs helicopter. He is now unopposed and just firing a mad amount of, and look how high he is. Look how high that helicopter is relative to everything else. But at the same time, yeah, it looks as if. getting that height advantage is going to play, I think, a key role in the helicopter fights because there are more than just one. Helicopter. Andy, though, is getting just bombarded over here um, on C Charlie? Flag. Now, C Flag is the one that gives the extra LAV, so this is going to be a, a hot spot. It's also the center of the map. It is. And Andy, right now, is just He's getting so low, and so it's two bad. versus one. It's two versus one, and he goes down. But they end up taking so Charlie regardless. They have, I mean, Synthic has four or five dudes on the uh, Charlie point. Taking, uh, shooting that IFV, but the IFV is still up, getting it repaired. And here comes a yeah, light helo as well.